Hello and welcome to Art with Mr P. Last week we looked at drawing and we looked at how we use line in art. This week we're looking at a different visual element. We'll be looking primarily at colour and we'll be using paints and oil pastels. Now you don't have to use oil pastels, you can use uh, wax crayons or just crayons maybe you've got at home because what I'm starting you off here every week with are I would like you to use materials that you probably already have at home yeah I'm not that keen you go and buy things but if you need to everything that you might want to buy obviously online and actually the range is at open in Dumfries yeah you can go in and buy there's a whole range of materials there so this week we're looking at colour and we'll be using mostly paint and wax crayons or uh, oil pastels. Right. We're going to be looking at these colours now. We're going to be painting grass colours and some of you have probably noticed that grass isn't necessarily green. If you really go outside and you have a look at grass up close, you'll notice that some of it's green, some of it's yellow, and you can even get bits of blue grass. Mm -hmm. Now, this week, like I said, we're looking at primary colours, and the three primary colours are red, yellow, and blue. And I'd like you to start this week by producing some marks that could look a bit like grass. Yeah. So I'm going to start with the yellow. And if I imagine that this is the ground, I'm going to make some grass marks coming out of the ground. Yeah. Now, do you see how I flick my hand? Grass grows in clumps. Yeah. Sometimes it's short, sometimes it's long, sometimes it's bent. And if you can imagine this is grass, but can you see how I'm flicking my hands so that the line gets thinner as it goes up the page, yeah? And by doing this quite quick and with energy, but it's not out of control, yeah? You've got to think about what you're doing. You can do it slowly if it helps. You start to produce something that could look a little bit like grass. Yeah, right, I'm going to go into the green now. So I'm flicking my crayon or wax pastel upwards because, like most plants, grass grows upwards. And I'm going to have a long one up here. Okay, well done primary twos, and I'm going to put in a little bit of blue now. So the blue could be shadow in the grass. If you look carefully, you might actually you could make shadows of bits of grass here. Yeah. Okay, so I've got a bit of grass there. And then up the top, I'm gonna to put a few seed pods in merely so you've noticed already right we've got three primary colors already on this image yeah we've got red yellow and blue so there are primary colors basic building blocks when we're mixing colors and you will have known this from your time in primary two and your time in primary one and what I'd like to do now, I'd like to add some paint to this here. Yeah? Now I've got some paper towel to keep everything clean. I've got a paint palette, but you can use an old plate. I've got some paints on here. You can use whatever paints you've got. Yeah. What's important is that you include the three primary colours. Yep. Yeah? So we need some yellow, we need some blue, and we need some red. Now, I've got acrylic here, but you can use poster paint or watercolour, or like I say, whatever you've got at home here. Yeah. I'm going to take some water from my old Brambley jar jam, and it was lovely jam anyway. And I'm going to take some yellow. I'm going to make that yellow really watery, yeah, so you can hardly see it. And then 
I'm going to do the same kind of flicking action with the brush as I did with the wax pastel here. Yeah? So I'm flicking upwards because plants grow upwards, don't they? Yeah? So I'm using one of the primary colours, yellow. Right, I'm now going to get some more water and go into the blue and get some wishy-washy blue paint going. And I'm also going to flick that up as well. Yeah, now that's far too strong. So I'm going to take some of this blue off. And I'm going to actually turn the brush sideways in so that I can get... Now, can you see if I mix the blue and the yellow, I start to get green. Yeah? So what I've done there, if I've mixed the primary colours of blue and yellow, and I'm creating a secondary colour of green, yeah? Okay. Experiment, yeah, put, maybe put some more on. Put some more paint on, yeah? Where the blue and the yellow mix, we start to get green, yeah? There it is. And it's a flicking bit that makes it look like paint rowing up towards the sky here. This could be very tall grass, couldn't it? Right, okay, so I'm going to clean the brush now, I think. Make sure it's lovely and clean. Get some paper towel, clean paper towel. I'm going to put the sun in. So I'm going to use this primary colour, yep, yeah, yellow. In it goes. Now I'm not going to put the sun, I never put the sun right in the corner. I'm going to put the sun about a third of the way over and down a bit here. Yeah. Around it goes. Here it is. Okay, there's my sun. Nice and neat, slow and careful here. Yeah. Now I'd like my sun to be orange here yeah, in the middle of it. So I clean my brush, I go and get a little bit of the red paint and I mix it with a little bit of the yellow. If I mix the red and the yellow, I, so that's two primary colours, I get a secondary colour, which is going to be this orange colour. Yeah? I can put that into my sun. Now make, putting a little bit of red into my yellow, making it orange, makes it look a bit warmer here yeah? because all the colours are warm or cool, yeah? If the colours remind you of the sun or remind you of fire, then they're probably warm colours. If the colours remind you of the sea or ice, then they'll be cool colours. And what happens is when you look at a picture, if it looks cool, it can make you feel cool, yeah? If it looks warm, it can warm you up, make you feel warm, yeah? Okay, so there's my sun. There we are, nice orange colour. Now, remember, I made the orange from the red and the yellow. Yeah, so I mixed two primaries to make a secondary colour. So here's my landscape coming along nicely. I think I'm going to put some more red flowers in. So remember, red is one of my primary colours. I'm going to use the end of the brush, I think. Okay, here we go. All right, so making sure that's nice and thin. Round it goes. Hardly pressing. Yeah. Same over here, I think. Might do the same over here. Interesting line, isn't it? Yeah, thinking about what we talked about last week. Okay, so what is this all about? Well, we started off with our three primary colours, red, yellow and blue. And you should know this really. Yeah? So this should be recapping for you. Red, yellow and blue, the primary colours. We've mixed the primary colours to make secondary colours. There is one secondary colour missing here. All right, so I'm going to clean my brush and dry it off. Put a nice clean brush. I'm going to take a little bit of red 
and I'm going to add it to it a little bit of blue. So if I mix the red and the blue, I get well, I get this colour, and I don't want too much of it there. And I'm just going to put some more shadow in here. Yeah, we get red and the blue make secondary colour purple in. So this gives it a little bit of depth. It looks like the shadow, I think, doesn't it, in the grass? Just a little bit here and there. Okay. Let go a little bit. Okay. And there we have it. So what's that all about again? Primary colours, red, yellow and blue. Mix two primary to colours together and you get secondary colours. Now, if that was quite tricky, you might want to look at the primary one lesson just to remind yourselves about primary and secondary colours. Well done. So this week we've been looking mostly at colour. We've used uh, oil pastels or wax crayons and paint, the kind of paint you want to use. The best kind of paint to use is what you've got to hand yeah, at home. Yeah? But um, I use acrylic paint, but you could use ready mixed paint or watercolours. It's the using the colour that's the important thing. Yeah? So we've looked at another visual element, the visual element colour. And we've started to introduce next week's topic, which next week we'll be looking at collage. And I wonder if you can remember what collage is and where the word comes from. Because if you're in one of my schools, you will probably know. Well done.